Hi, it's Kayla from The Salty Yankee, and this is the Design Space tutorial for the subscriber-exclusive marshmallow boxes. Um, I'm going to show you how to duplicate it and how to remove the candy cane from the top to make a stacking set. I'll also show you how to resize to make them in different sizes. So first I'm going to upload the file. I'm just going to hit upload and then pull it in from my file library. Okay, so it comes in small. You'll see right here there's some text that says what to size it to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So file to 14 wide by 14 high. So I'm just going to keep my dimensions locked here and change the width to 14. I'm going to ungroup this and I'm going to go ahead and delete this text. I don't need that anymore. So that's going to make a box approximately four by four inches. So if you've seen the pictures and the videos that I've posted of this project, this is the size that those are set to. Now, if you look at these here, these three pieces are little 3D whipped cream pieces. Um, I do have a video on my YouTube on how to fold those together. I don't have pictures and videos of the marshmallows with those on them, but I thought that would be a fun addition to include. I'm going to go ahead and delete those, but if you wanted to also do the marshmallow, I'm sorry, the whipped cream uh, pieces, just go ahead and leave those in, and when you're doing all your sizing, leave those sized as they are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the pieces that have the dashed cut lines to make sure that those stay attached. Um, and keep in mind that both of these uh, candy cane pieces, they have dashed cut lines on them. So just click the piece with the dashed cut line, click attach, click, attach, click, attach, click, attach, click, attach. So now all my dashed cut lines are attached and ready to be cut. Now all three of the little faces, oops, all three of the little faces are here. Um, if you want to do more than three, you'll just have to duplicate the faces for as many as you want. So you will notice there is just one box here because I want you to be able to duplicate it as many times as you want for however big of a stack that you want. Also, the lid has the slit in the top to put your candy cane. So just kind of take stock of how many boxes do I want to make and how many are going to be sitting on the top that I want to have the candy cane inside. So for the sake of example, I'm going to use what I did in the videos, which was I did one on top with the candy cane, and then I did two beneath that had no candy cane. So I'm going to take my white box, which is the three pieces right here. I'm going to duplicate that two times. One, two. So now my white part is all set. So I'm going to need two more lids, but I'm going to need it without the slit in the center. So I'm just going to duplicate it one time. I'm going to pull it over here. And then right up here, when I have this selected, you'll see this highlights blue. I'm going to click this arrow. Then I'm going to click this arrow so that I can select just my brown piece only. And I'm going to go to contour. Then right over here, you can see here's the slit. I'm just going to click that, and that's going to eliminate the slit. Now I can go ahead and click this and duplicate it. So I have two more that have no slit inside, and I still only have my one candy cane. If I was going to do more with a slit, I would do more candy canes. So now this is completely ready to go ahead and hit make and make it exactly as is in the photo. So if you wanted to make this a different size, I'm going to hit Control Z and go back to the beginning here. Use this as an example, I'm um, sorry, as a reference of how big your box is going to be. So you can see 3.82, it's about 4 inches. So if you wanted to make this bigger, resize it and you can say hold everything and resize it and go, okay, now I'm going to have a 4.8 inch box. Just keep in mind that these can't exceed 11 and a half if you don't have the 12 by 24 mat.
And that's it. This project's ready to make. If you make this project, go ahead and tag me on Instagram if you share any photos at the Salty Yankee, or you can email me info at the Salty Yankee.com if you want to share your photos and videos for me to post on my socials or on my website. Thanks so much for subscribing if you're a subscriber. And if you're not, you can head over to Patreon to subscribe and get the subscriber exclusive file. Thanks again. Bye.